world of tanks hooray look at my silly little tank look at that it's like a little farmer's tractor with tracks and a little pea shooter on top hello folks and welcome to episode two of my nice new series in which i am showcasing loads of free to play games games that you can play for nothing and as i'm sure you're all aware there is no game better than a free to play game but today we are looking at world of tanks thoroughly enjoy this game i used to play it quite extensively but something happened and i lost all my tanks i had loads of progression in the game and quite frankly i was just burnt out about it but for the purposes of showing you guys what is currently available for, to play for absolutely nothing i am going to show you this awesome little game now it costs absolutely nothing it was released in 2010 first in russia and it's gradually been rolled out over the years. It was just recently released in 2012, in December 2012, in Korea. And there is currently also an Xbox version in development and also a version for all your tablets, your iPads, and your Galaxies, and all of that. And it's um, a thoroughly fun little game to play. The action, as you can tell, is a bit slow. I don't know why this is so slow. But let's see if we can go and find some adventure. Now there are four different category categories of tank in the game. There are light tanks, medium tanks, heavy tanks, and there are artillery. Now the artillery are my favorite class to play. They're basically the snipers of the game. They hang back and they shoot in a huge arc over the battlefield, destroying stuff from a distance. And then we have uh, the light tanks, which is what I am now. And basically my purpose is to try and scout out the location of other tanks. Put a little green dot on the map when I find them. Or a little red dot. And then the artillery can take them out from a distance. Heavy tanks are exactly as they say. These are the big bastards. They take forever to destroy. And they pack some decent firepower as well. So... They sort of the battlefield's hard asses. I'm about to get destroyed because I'm useless at this game. But let's go and have a look at the garage. I'll show you guys what's going on. So this is the garage. We've got all our different tanks. It shows you all the tanks stats on the right there. The crew and their experience. So we've got the commander and we've got the driver both at 50%. The higher these guys experience go, the faster your tank will move and the more efficient it will be. So if I have, say, this fella, and we look at the gunner. The gunner, if he's at 100%, will reload much faster. Now, reloading can take a little while in certain tanks. But um, it's it, the, the more experience your guys have, the closer they are to 100%, obviously maxing out at 100%, the faster they will do certain things, like move the tank, turn the tank around. And this tank has obviously just come out of battle. As you can see, he's quite knackered and quite busted up. So we're going to go to service. Uh, repair automatically. We would like him to repair automatically. Resupply automatically. Here we can determine what different kinds of ammo we want. Now, gold is freemium stuff. It means that you have to pay for it. That's up there. Get gold, you pay real world money for it. And then we've also got high explosive rounds, armor piercing rounds and all sorts of other shenanigans that you can put in your tank to make it more deadly you can also upgrade your tank this one doesn't have any upgrades as far as i can tell so let's pick a different tank so here we can upgrade from 37 mil to 25 to 13.2 obviously these guns will fire faster maybe shoot far further or whatever different engines different tracks and these all affect your tank in different ways engines obviously will make your tank move faster turn around faster as will tracks they will make your tank be able to carry a heavy load and it will also make your tank turn faster in battle which is a huge thing the graphics aren't too bad as you can tell they're quite simple uh, this will run on pretty much anything this game. You don't need a high-end PC. It will run on many laptops as well. So if you're running on a laptop and you're looking for something to play, go for it. So this is the tech tree where you've got all your different countries and different tanks and how you can research them. So we've got, I think as of today, 240 tanks in the game, something like that. So there are loads. You can buy tanks, sell tanks, obviously only to the game. You cannot sell tanks to other people, unfortunately. 
uh, service record it shows you your combat stats and all that kind of thing tech tree your barracks you can train your commanders faster your, your tank crew which obviously speeds up the progression of your crew which is um, a really good thing to do because it increases your tanks capability so much now we've got 10,000 currency I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything with that to be honest uh, shall we okay shove it I'm not gonna bother with research right now let's go and head off into battle Right, today's battle is in Himmelsdorf, and it is a standard battle, which means there are two objectives to the game. One is to destroy all the enemy tanks, and the other is to capture the enemy base. I don't know what the deal is with these two guys. They're just messing about. Uh, friendly fire is enabled on the game, so I would be able to shoot them if I wanted to. But that's not very beneficial to the team. Everything is pretty much destroyable in this as you can tell, just drive over stuff. Um, might have said that before, I don't know if I have, I apologize. This ring that's constantly getting bigger and smaller as I move around is my aiming ring. The bigger it is, the less accurate you are. The smaller it is, the more accurate you are. So if I stand still, you'll see that that will get fairly accurate. This guy's under attack over here. As you can see, his health is going down. So we're going to go around the corner, see if we can give him a bit of backup. You can go into first person mode as well. Right, so let's aim at this guy. We're going to wait for that ring to get as small as we can because that's when your shots are the most accurate. Okay, so... <laughs> Right, well, a bit stupid of me to stand there, but anyway, who cares? That was World of Tanks, folks. If you guys want to see more of this, please give us a like, give us a comment down below, and I will do some Let's Plays. I will actually put some proper efforts into doing a decent gameplay rather than just heading out and getting my head chopped off by the first tank I come across. But in the meantime, I thank you guys for watching. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, do what you need to do. I love you all. I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out, much love, and bye-bye.